Beat Detective inside of Pro Tools is a super handy tool that I use all the time and, well, most people use it for editing their drums and other things. It actually is also just a huge time saver and I'm going to show you a trick that's going to let you fade things better and faster than ever before and just save you a bunch of time. All right, so I've got a bass track loaded up here to show you this. And as you can see, I've been doing some slip editing with it. So by slip editing, I mean that I'm just cutting things like this, go with this note right here, chop that up and then move it over where I need it. But as you can see, it creates these little gaps and everywhere I've edited and pulled something around, there are these little holes now. And you know, I'd probably want to nudge this back if we were trying to get closer to the grid. And there's now these gaps there and we need to close them. So typically what you would do is pull this little bit back and then let's get this out of the way, fade it like that. But doing that for every single edit across a song is just going to take forever. So that is where Beat Detective comes in. And Beat Detective, if you're not familiar, you can get that under event Beat Detective, that'll bring it up. But if you've got a full size keyboard, just command eight, toggles it up and down. Super easy, that's the way to go. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go right down to the last option on the left, edit smoothing it's called, and then make sure fill and crossfade is selected. Fill gaps works too, but it won't fade it. It'll just kind of fill all these holes, but fill and crossfade is gonna actually fill those and then give you a little crossfade. And then you can even select the crossfade length. So let's just go with four milliseconds. So I would just go through, do a whole edit of all of it, command all, smooth. Now, this is actually good, this popped up. The selection must not contain crossfades. So I accidentally cross, like faded something myself while doing this, probably that example I just showed you. So you might have to go and delete those fades and there's a shortcut to do that too, because that can be frustrating. If you can't find one fade, you don't wanna to have to go hunting and looking at each edit to find a fade. So you can just go to edit to fades and then delete and that'll delete all the fades in what you've got highlighted. So click that and now we can click smooth and watch these gaps as I click smooth, you'll see them all disappear. Bang, whole thing just got pulled back and faded. <laughs> so that's amazing. It just literally automated that entire job for us. Now, if you find that those fades aren't to your satisfaction, you can just use fill gaps, which will do that pullback function, but not actually do the fades. And then you can do command F and tailor the fades to your your own preferences, you know, so you might like an equal power or an equal gain fade. You might want a different length uh, and you can then also just adjust existing crossfades or ex adjust existing crossfade length. You know, whatever you need to do, you can do it that way. Now, I'm curious because maybe this solves that problem of the warning of it not being able to do this if there's any fades on the track. So I'm going to create a fade right here and for good luck, let's create one there and then let's pull some of these back so it really has to work. Now let's command A, we have a fade, so fill and crossfade shouldn't work. It does not. Now we're gonna click fill gaps, see if it does this and just ignores that. It does not. So you have to delete the fades. We've proven that now. <laughs> so again, edit, fades, delete. Now you can do whichever function you like. Of course, I highly recommend still then just listening through, making sure your edits are all clean, but this will save you so much time if you're doing an edit heavy song, especially on drums where you can't have gaps. You know, with a bass guitar like this, honestly, clearing out this little bit here isn't going to hurt anything probably, but it's all, you know, trust your ears. But with drums, you need all that stuff in between. You don't want to have your drums punching in and out. You got to have all those silences be filled and this will do it for you. So huge time saver if you're a big slip editor like myself and I hope this helps you. Adios.